Um, so, uh, welcome back to Let's Play Luigi's Mansion with me, Rock Paper Mario, and in this part we're going to go through this door and catch our next portrait ghost because, spoilers, there's a portrait ghost in there. Um, and funnily enough, he's another optional one. So far the only optional ghosts we've seen have been this guy, um, Biff Atlas, and... What are the other, what's the other guy? Oh, Mr. Logs. And oh, I didn't do the ghost bios. I should probably start by doing the ghost bios. Because I didn't do it for um, Nana or Miss Petunia. Well, Miss Petunia is the bathing beauty. Um, and she's years old. The Miss Ghost runner up from six years ago. She hasn't had modeling work lately. Well, I wonder why. She looks like a pig. Maybe she could do modeling work for, I don't know, some farmer's journal or something like that as a pig. And Nana is the scarf knitting granny, Nana, who is 76 years old. She's still knitting the scarf that she never finished in life and now stretches to 871 feet. Well, I actually saw this little thing on the television that was about this man who was had the world record for the longest piece of string or something, or the long, longest piece of yarn that he had made. And it was, like, thousands and thousands of feet long. And it was just... It was, the man was really weird, believe it or not. Oh, how could he not be if he's such a weirdo? Um, now, there's another one of these rich ghosts in here. In somewhere, I think. See in this one? Mario? Any Mario? Well, no, get that. As you can see, he, play, he likes playing pool. <laughs> Come on. Oh, yeah. yeah, there he is. Flash him and then suck him off. At least these ghosts don't give you that much trouble. And you get loads of coins and a blue jewel. Um, so yeah, we're going to start off this video by catching this portrait ghost. And then I promise I'll remember to do the ghost bio. Well, I know I can't promise it because I'm really forgetful about doing the ghost bios. Because the thing is, is that I've read them all before. Um, so... I've read them all before, so I don't really feel the impetus to read them again naturally. Whereas if I were playing this game for the first time, then I'd feel a natural impetus to want to read the ghost bio. Now what you've got to do is you've got to like shoot these balls around the room and hope that they hit him. And as far as I know, you have to hit him three times or so. Come on. Because when don't you have to hit a boss three times? In Mario or Zelda. I think that's really funny. Gee, he's putting up a fight, isn't he? Yeah, this guy's quite strong. I didn't realize that he was so strong before. Oh yeah, I've never. This is one of those ghosts that I've never gotten a gold portrait on. Yeah, and I haven't this time either. But I've seen pictures of what the gold portrait looks like, and it's really cool looking. And I always get the silver portrait just like this time. Well, no, did I even get a silver portrait that time? I think I did. Um. Yeah, so, but I'd like to get the gold portrait on him sometime, but he's just, I don't know why, he just seems to be really strong. And what you've just got to do is hit him one more time. Just like Miss Petunia, you just had to um, put the ice in one more time to catch her again if you missed her. As you can see, he's putting up quite a fight. There we go, caught him. And there's a boo in here. Not a po, a boo. Um, so yeah, again, you have to, he's not optional if you want to catch all boos, but you do get quite a lot of money. Including this silver diamond thing. And a couple of gold bars. And access to a boo. Um, now it's quite funny because the room next door to this, just like with Mr. Lugs, the room next door to this is actually imperative, is actually required to finish the game. So it's funny that they put like an optional ghost in a room that you had to go through. In, I mean, what were they saying? Were you going to know instinctively that that ghost was optional? Is he in here? No, that's just- ah! <laughs> Run away from the bomb, idiot. Well, where is the boo? Is he in this- Oh, he just moved again, just when I was about to uncover his hiding place. Just when I was about to uncover my hiding place, he moved. Boo-hoo. Well, come here so I can catch you. You'll be crying then. Don't escape into that room! See, it works. Shouting works. Shouting makes people do what you want. Now we'll just say, oh, I don't even, I'm not even bothering to read it, so you can read it if you want, but I'm not bothering. So we go into, the, there's this room next door is another one of my favorite rooms in the game. I just love this room. Um, and it's quite like the other room we were in, the one with the mirrors. What you've got to do is you've got to set this projector working, and you'll see the ghosts will drop down, And but you have to track them by using their shadow. But I actually find it's easier just to watch for the vapor drop. Um, and catch them there. Like that. Or else wait for them to catch you and then catch them. 
But yeah, you can. You can use the projector to be able to catch them, to be, watch where they are. Um, there's another one. So yeah, some, I don't know, that makes the projector a bit redundant, the fact that you can see the vapor trail. If you weren't able to see that, then you'd, um, you'd kind of be forced to... You'd be forced to use the projector. Um, but yeah, as I said, I love this room. I think it's really cool. I love these kind of gimmicky rooms. Like, oh, he's still there. <laughs> Just, he almost got me there. He almost had me in his vile clutches. I've got you in my grass. I remember that from Rogue Rats when she used to say that. Or no, what did she, she didn't say grass. She said, got you in my vile crutches. Like the things you use for when you have a sore leg. Got you in my vile crutches. And I, I always remember that line for some reason. Because I used to love, I love, I, I'd probably still watch it if it was on again, the original Rogue Rats. Um, the first couple of series of it, because they were really funny. I remember there was this one episode where they thought Stu was a robot. And they went up with like a wrench and like, like twisted his nipples with a wrench. And I just remember thinking that was the funniest thing I'd ever seen in my life. Which it probably was when I was about five years old and seeing that for the first time. Shambu. He's fresh and clean, apparently. I'm just taking hits left, right, and center. I suppose this whole, like, let's play curse thing is true, that you're... He had zero HP left! Oh, there you Finally. And you saw, yeah, you can do the same thing with that projector screen as with the poster. You can make it be a picture of a boo. I suppose that whole let's play curse thing is true. Well, no, it's not. It's just that if I were playing this game normally... Oh, Mario's glove. If I were playing this game normally, I'd have loads of time to be going looking for hearts. But, like, when I'm recording... Um, I don't want to waste your time by going looking for hearts for no reason. So I suppose seeing as we found Mario's glove, we're only on about like six minutes or seven minutes or something. So I'm going to go and talk to the fortune teller. And show her Mario's glove and do my... Well that voice that I'm doing, that, that accent is actually what one of my German lecturers sounds like. That I seem to do base all my voices on my lecturers, but that's exactly what her voice is like. She has this really cool, sarcastic sounding voice. What is this object you have here? Show it please to Madame Claire Foyer. What is this? If it isn't Mario's glove, aha, still damp with the sweat of the living. Hmm. <laughs> Oh, they come. Now it's the spirits come. Come, spirits of power. Come, spirits of sight. Show to me the awful things occurring here tonight. And she'll do her fly fiery things. Her eyes profess the flame. Or is it her heart profess the flame? Something like that. Crystal orb, symbol of my clan. Use your darkling power to show us all you could. I mean, can. Show us all you can. Show us this Mario. The light of the spirits come. Show us what we seek. Well, what is it? Listen, can you hear it? The inner voice of your sweet, beloved Mario. Oh, how is What is this? A king? King Boo? What is this King Boo? I do not understand just what he means, but... Well, King Boo is obviously the king of the boos. Come on. Beware of King Boo. This is what your brother wishes to say to you. Oh, yes. A boo who wears a crown. I see. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course. We already deciphered that mystery. This is King Boo, so he is the one who has captured your Mario. Ah, I can say no more. The spirits leave me even now. Oh, well, that, that was useful. So far, she hasn't told us anything that we don't know. But one of her messages, probably the next one, is actually something that we don't know. Um, we're up to, what, nine minutes? I'm actually going to go and get a heart. <laughs> I don't care. Have a heart. Let me get a heart. Um, I'm going to go and get a heart right now, and it's actually quite, it's not out of the way because the next portrait ghost is right next to where we can get the heart. Um, and that is in Chauncey's room, as you know, the baby's room, because remember that key we got from Nana, the granny, like in Sylvester and Tweety, um, that leads to the room next door, as you can see. Oh yeah, I was going to tell you about that memory when I that I got reminded of when I saw Luigi's fat head. One time when I was playing, I remember I had like this really vivid memory of when we were, I was playing. Um, I was playing Mario Party Four with my with my um, cousin, and there's this game in Mario Party Four where you where you have to draw a line with a crayon, and I was in like the back row, so I you. But and Waluigi was in front of me, and literally, <laughs> I lost the game because I couldn't see what the line was. I couldn't see what shape the line was because Waluigi was in the way, and I just said really loudly. I shouted out, "I can't see with Waluigi's fat head!" <laughs> like, 
It was just one of the funniest lines ever. I don't know why I even said it. Well, I know why he said it, because his fat head was in the way. But um, if you look in these beds... Well, no, don't climb up on the bed. If you look in these beds, there's another one of these um, ghosts. And he's actually one of the harder ghosts to catch. Um, he's one of the easier ghosts to, to get away from, that he'll actually start running around before you can um, flash him with the flashlight. Um, yeah, climb up. What? Get the money. <laughs> Get it. Yeah, so yeah, that, I have this really vivid, vivid memory of that, and I just think it's really funny. Any money in the light? Usually, there's money in there. Um, I think we're up to about eleven minutes, so I'm I I don't want to start catching this ghost because this ghost actually takes a while. Um, so I'm going to start that in the next video. So sorry for this abrupt ending, but I have to. So, um, I'll see you next time, and let's play Luigi's Mansion. This is Rock Paper Mario, and thanks for watching. Mm-hmm.